Max Rugby is a great way to introduce students to contact rugby. It's easy to teach and easy to adapt to make it suitable for all students. X Rugby can be played as five, seven or ten aside. There are slightly different rules for each, but there are some bits that are the same throughout. Tries are worth seven points if you score in the scoring zone or five points elsewhere. Tackles must be below the armpits and arms must wrap around the ball carrier on or before contact. For players starting out, you might want to introduce a hold instead. Handoffs must be below the armpits. You can also kick in open play, but it's grubber kicks only. There are no conversions, drop kicks or penalty kicks. To restart the game, or for a penalty or free kick, it's a tap and play. The defence need to retreat seven metres. For offences like a forward pass, it's a scrum. For X Rugby Sevens, the scrum is three players from each team with no pushing, though the hooker from each team can strike. No pushing provides a great opportunity to ensure everyone can experience the scrum. For players not in the scrum, they will be positioned. A ruck where the ball is on the ground can be contested by a maximum of two players from each team. Though to make it easier, you might want to condition the defending team or restrict numbers further. A maul where the ball carrier is held and the ball is off the ground is a maximum of three players per team. And again, a teacher might condition this. If the ball goes off from a kick, it's a free pass where the ball was kicked from. But if the ball carrier goes out, it's a line-out. This is 2v2 and players from each side can jump to contest. There's no lifting. Players not involved will be positioned. The max pitch size is 70 by 50 metres, but like everything else, you can reduce this if this better suits your students. For more help and information, please visit englandrugby.com slash xrugby.